Data exchanges are a new cloud capability that allow you to control what data you share with whom. Share just the data you need across a variety of applications. Take, for instance, a subset of data, a stairwell in your building model. You can share that with fabricators using Inventor, designers, and folks using business applications like Power Automate. You can send that data back all via the cloud as well. Let's take a look at some of these workflows in action. Using the Data Exchange Connector for Revit, you can filter the data you want to share with others. Maybe for IP reasons, maybe because you don't want to overburden your stakeholders with too much data noise. When you create the exchange using the connector, you save it to a location in Autodesk Docs, which is part of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. When the exchange is created, you can share it with users to view on the web. With the data exchange created, stakeholders, partners, and team members can consume the same exchange in their application of choice. Simply use the application connector like we see here in Rhino to grab the geometry data as well as the property data associated with the objects in the exchange. Another stakeholder, perhaps a fabricator working across the globe, can bring in that same data into another tool here in Venter. When design authors or editors modify their exchange, updates are then propagated to downstream consumers. So someone using Rhino can bring in the modifications from an exchange, as well as someone who's using Inventor. Just the changes, the deltas are passed through the cloud. So latency between these workflows is reduced compared to heavy file-based workflows. We can also connect data exchanges to Power Automate. This is a Microsoft platform that allows you to automate repetitive workflows and bring in rich exchange model data into business applications like Excel or Power BI. You can also create and update data exchanges from Rhino, just like we saw in Revit. Create your exchange using the Rhino connector, save that to the cloud, and then share that with any downstream consumers that need to read in that geometry information. Here we pull the panelized facade into Revit and use it as a reference in our workflow. We can then go back to Rhino, update that panel, and then simply push the updates to the next revision of that exchange. Downstream consumers can then load in that new data just as we saw before. With that same data exchange, we can also pull that into a tool like Inventor, where designers and manufacturers might need to do detailing on specific panels. And because data exchanges are neutral containers, you can read them into your application as well by using our cloud APIs. As we drive towards better tools for better collaboration via the cloud, let us know if you have any questions, want to participate in our early access programs, or if you have any suggestions for new features or connectors.